Hey everyone, welcome to David Metal. Today, I brought out my old Marlin Model 55. This is a bolt action mag fed 12 gauge shotgun. Yes, thing's pretty old, but it's been really reliable and I've had a ball with this thing. Love shooting it and I've never had no trouble out of it. And why did I bring it out today? Good question. We're going to shoot some sand with mini slugs. This is going to be cool. I have got, what are, these are Gwillas. I have got, these are Gwilla lead slug, inch and three quarters. Uh, 1,250 feet per second is what these things are hollering. That is, uh, that is a trip. They're a lot tougher than what they look. Yeah, that's a little bitty thing. But I've shot a lot of these mini shells. Uh, the regular bird shot, double lot buck, and these little slugs. And they're just cool and a lot of fun to shoot. Um, I want to throw big thanks out to Kentucky Patriot. He's the one that uh, left these here for us to shoot on the channel. And we sure do appreciate it. So uh, thanks, Stephen. Appreciate it a lot, bud. Let's go out here, and I'll show you the sand I get set up, and y'all can uh, make a good educated guess on if you think we're going to catch this slug or not. All right, what we got here out on the old spoon is two of these Maxwell House jugs full of sand. And this is wet sand, too, or damp sand, we should say. What we're going to do is put one behind another and just see how far you think that slug's going to make it through. I mean, that is a lot of sand there, guys. And that's a lot of crooked, too. Let me get that thing a little straighter. There we go. That's not too bad. Like I say, throw down in the comments what y'all think. Uh, I'm hoping to catch the slug. I'm guessing we're going to catch it in the first one if I had to guess. But let me get these other cameras cranked up for some good slow-mo. Let's make this shot. They got that cool mini slug going on there. All right, she's hot. So I throw down in the comments what y'all think. I'm really hoping to catch it and it mushrooms out really good. All right, I'm close enough. With this long barrel, I'm almost right at it. All right, fire in the hole, guys. I felt that just a shade. Good deal. All right, let's go up there and see what we did. All right. Well, we got a good, good center shot on that thing. No doubt about that. Let's see how many it went through. There's our first one. Like I say, fantastic shot on that. Oh, man. Yeah, the sun catches just right. Got a nice little dent right there. Well, it didn't go through two of them, but I'm pretty sure that we caught it. We caught it in the first one. Yeah, put a good, nice little dent off in there. Well, there's a wadding to it. That was cool. Yeah, that was right up front. Now, oh, that looked like a slug. Oh, let's go to digging. We ain't afraid to get our hands dirty. Yeah, buddy. That went pretty quick. Wow. 
knew would catch that bad boy. But like I say, it did not even make it through one of them jugs. That is cool. Let's go uh, clean this up and take a better look at it. All right, here's what they look like cleaned up a little bit. Like I say, it didn't even hurt that plastic wad none at all. Or follower, whatever you call it. And as far as our slug, man, now that is a great, great way that that thing expanded out and still kept its roundness and shape. That was cool. Well, guys, that right there was really fun to shoot. And like I say, one jug almost made it through that jug. Put a decent little dent on the back side. But I mean, being able to find both pieces, that was pretty cool. I'm very, very impressed with that. Yes, we have a whole 2x4 full of uh, saved bullets here. For those of y'all who never see it, you know, I'm always saying, well, I'll put it over here in the saved file. This is some of the saved file. And there's another piece of wood over on the other side that's got about that much more, too. Well, guys, appreciate you watching. Again, hope you enjoyed that video. I enjoyed shooting it because that was just fun. Well, if you would, throw me down some comments. If you're able, hit us up on Patreon. And please, like, share, and subscribe. Again, appreciate it much. Until the next one, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day. He's getting it now.